tackling the subject of workers' compensation is complicated, to say the least. And that's why we have Catherine Stone from Barbus Law to explain what you need to know. Today, we're talking about what you need to know before settling your case. This has kind of been a chronological thing yes. you've been working us through, right? Right. We went all the way from how you know when to file for a claim, what time period you have to file, how you get paid, how it's calculated, what happens with your medical, the different classifications of benefits. And now, um, you know, inevitably every case at some point um, settles. Now, first, th what I'd like everyone to know is no one can ever force you to settle your workers' compensation claim. The employer carrier cannot force you. Your attorney cannot force you. Um, just like you can't force them to settle your case. You can't force them to put money on the table for you to, to close your case. And what I usually tell clients in a, in a very, in that pre, you know, settlement conference mm -hmm. is it's a complete divorce from workers' comp. It is a complete, um, you can no longer go after workers' comp for any medical or money payments. Um, it is typically means you're done. So in five years, if something happens and you think work comp should have paid for it, you can't go back to workers' comp and say, hey, I need you to reopen oh, by my By the case. way, yeah. Because they're basically paying you money as, in perspective of what they think the case would cost. And this is where a lot of clients have the biggest trouble in understanding. And I have this com conference probably almost daily with clients um, as to how we come up with numbers. Because I give them a recommendation of, okay, here's what's going on with your case. Here's how I valued it. Mm -hmm. And the first thing first is we always tell everyone, workers' comp, you do not get compensated for pain and suffering, unlike a personal injury lawsuit. Mm -hmm. You do not get compensated because you can't go back to doing the same kind of work that you were doing before. You do not get compensated because you used to make $30 an hour and now you're only making $20 an hour. Mm -hmm. That is not part of the equation. The equation is, what are you going to cost that insurance company from a medical and a lost wage standpoint? So if you have future medical that's pending mm -hmm. and that they know you're going to repeatedly need, such as prescriptions, that's the easiest example I can give. If you're costing them $500 in prescriptions and you don't see any end in sight, well, then we can do the math pretty easily mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. And we do a life expectancy. And then the other thing is, is we look at the loss in wages. Are they going to hit that five-year temporary total max? Are they not going to qualify for permanent total disability? Do we think they're going to qualify for permanent total disability? And there's actually a whole set of math programs that we utilize to be able to show the client, here's how much your case is worth. Hmm. I'm curious. One of the things you just said recently was no case that you've ever had is the same. Correct. 15 you've 15 years at least right. you've been doing this, right, Catherine? Right. To get to the point we're talking about now where you have that sit down in that conference, what are some time frames that people maybe need to know Again, right from the beginning? They can be as soon as a month from you know me getting involved, depending on where they are in their case, mm -hmm. to I have some cases that have been around since and haven't settled since when I first started working. I even actually had a case recently that was actually older than I am. It finally settled after a lot of years. So I'm not going to give my age away. <laughs> I thought she was going to go there. I thought she was going to go there. Wow. Yeah. So it's just stuff that people need to keep in but mind. But the biggest thing, make sure you keep your case open by going to the doctor or getting a benefit paid for by workers' comp at least once a year. Um, otherwise, your case will automatically close out and they owe uh, you nothing. And then that, and it's not even getting to the point that you were just discussing, I, can, right? I can't do anything about it if you come to me. And trust me, there have been potential clients who had a great case, mm -hmm. but they failed to follow up with their doctor or get whatever treatment they needed to get. They mm -hmm. let a year go by and there's nothing I can do. Wow. Again, always appreciate your time, appreciate your information. If you've got questions for workers' comp or really anything under the legal field, Catherine or her team, they can help you. Of course, that's 1-800-BARBUS-LAW or go to barbuslaw.com slash know your rights.